now we've got the perfect bit of Monday night indulgence in the kitchen now with John Tarot, and it all goes in one tray. It is, like, well, the whole thing is a sort of slow cook and then you add it. So the idea is you can make as much as you want in advance. Mm. You can freeze bags if you want to. You can do individual portions or a big family lot. So the first bit is this sort of slow cooked chicken. Some onions, some chicken thighs, ginger, some garlic, paprika, and some chili flakes, and a little bit of oil. And all I do is just put the chopped up chicken thighs in a bag, mm. add to that the seasoning, so some salt oh and gosh. some pepper. What oil? Are you just using? veg oil. And I would always use veg oil. It's got no flavour, so it doesn't really taint anything. It's just the easiest way to go, really. And then add to that some paprika, um, a little bit of chili, and then I just take all that and massage it together so you don't make too much of a mess. Good for the kids if you want to make lots of mess. And then just put that into that pop with the onions, mm -hmm. and you just start to give it a bit of colour. Now, I give it a bit of colour. You can do this in a slow cooker, so you don't need to if you don't want to. Because mm. this is going to cook... I don't have a slow cooker here, so I'm just going to put it in an oven for um, about an hour and a half. So you just take that... Have you tried an air fryer? I have tried an air fryer. Not first? Well, it's a little convection oven, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it does what a convection oven does, you know, and I suppose that... If, you, if you've got a student flat and stuff, I think yeah, brilliant, brilliant idea. Yeah. You know, something that also holds you over. Big money saver, though, on, the, on energy. On energy and stuff, mm. yeah, of course. I think yeah. that's why you sort of do this in batches, so you do that sort of thing. Uh, a stock cube goes in there, and of course you've got all the onions and stuff in the bottom. If you add a little bit of water, what that does is just clean the pan, which might sound odd, but all those lovely flavours are in there, so you want to be able to try and that's get all those stuff. off the bottom. And it starts to boil quite quickly, so you want it to start to cook quite fast. And then to add that, I'm going to add um, some ground cum coriander. Mm. A couple of chilies. These aren't that hot. So you can put a couple of extra if they want to be hot. And then chipotle paste. So you buy this in jars. I love so that it's, stuff. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Really smoky. It tastes like, tastes like Mexico. Mm -hmm. But not that I um, have eaten that much Mexican food. <laughs> Proper Mexican. I had lovely tacos, actually, in the street of Mexico City. They were so delicious. Absolutely delicious. The real this, deal. Mm? Real, Real deal. deal. But I think this sort of thing where you actually cook it quite slowly, but I, I implore everybody, please use lots of seasoning. Don't be shy with it. I mean, lots of, lots of spices as well. Make it nice and, and give it a big oomph. I've just dug in underneath the crispy topping. I know, that's what topping, I've done too. And, and um, the flavours are so gorgeous yeah. down here. Gorgeous. Then um, some tomatoes go into there, and then what I do then is just bring that back to the boil again. So you got So in there, really, you've got... Your onions and your chicken, some paprika, ginger and garlic, a little bit of chilli, you know, as much chilli or as little chilli as you want, and then put that in the oven. You can smell that already. I mean, it's starting to come live. Mm -hmm. A lid on top of it in a pot, and then put it in the oven at 160 for about an hour and a half. Oh, right. So what you can do is you can do all this sort of stuff, and as I say, do this in advance. Imagine that the kids are out all day, they're at school, and you want to get stuff ready. So once it's all done and sorted... You just, you can, and you say it's cold. You warm it up again, and it's just warmed up. And I'm going to sort of sneak some veg in. I just I want... found that. I yeah, love that. you got to sneak some veg yeah. in. So you chuck some spinach in the top there, and some coriander as well. And so what happens is you can actually probably sneak in that you like in here: some peas or some carrots, or even some sort of frozen broccoli or whatever. Whatever you've of got in the bottom of the fridge. Uh, whatever. Yeah, that's it. Because mm. it's all hidden away in this sort of pie. And then you take your corn chips and you put your corn chips across the top. Do a, a layer first. It's, it's, if you ever do nachos at home, my trick is always to warm the corn chips first because the cheese then sticks to them. Oh, Whereas the that's cheese a good doesn't idea. stick to it otherwise. I've yeah. never heard that, but that's so true, isn't it? That's the cheese thing. always falls off. So if you warm the corn chips first, have you had a muffin yet? No. no. Over in the corner, there's a big yeah. muffin there. No, don't eat those ones, Holly. Oh. They're, they're, they're my ones. Pass me a muffin. They're fake. Thank you, darling. You have the proper ones over What there. do I do with this? Oh, look, there's a corn in it. Yeah. How mad is that? And then some more cheese across the top. Is it? And then what you do is you just take that, you put that in the oven, and that goes in the oven at 200. And you put that in there mm. for about 15 minutes. Crispy so the kids are home. I love cornbread. And you've got yourself... Ah! What's in this pot, this one? That is mole, which is just a sauce. So what I've done is just got lots of things you to have with it. So is it there's spicy? Some... No. Yes. Well, not or really, no. It's sort of like a, a Mexican sauce. It's a, right. you know, sort of, uh... Mole is what they use to make stews and, and sort of seasoning. But the idea here is that it you put this in the middle of the table... Like... Hmm? It tastes a little Cinnamon. bit like... It tastes a little bit like... Like black bean sauce that for in a Chinese. Yeah, it's got chocolate in it, you know, chocolate cinnamon. sauce and stuff and cinnamon, cinnamon spices mm. and all those things. Some refried beans. And then when you've done all this up, what you've got then, if it's hot, 
and the table, all the things that people like, sour oh cream, coleslaw, rice, grated cheese, more chilies, everything else. And then what you do is you just, if you pick this up, now you'll see inside here, everybody can see inside there now, you've got this that is lovely so naughty. cheese, but, but it's got veg in it, Holly. True. Corn chips, they're one of your five a day. True. Tomatoes, one mm -hmm. of your five a day. This and is like movie night food. It's great movie night food. But I think on the Monday night, and also actually today, this is the um, the first meal for our next Prime Minister. There uh, you go, the first meal cooked for the next Prime Minister. Will there we he go. or she like it? I think she probably will. <laughs> um, that we is absolutely <laughs> lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, so God, good. I, those cornbreads are just stunning. Much crispier on the outside than I thought they were going to be. And soft on the inside. Yeah. Like me. Like you. <laughs> Thank you. It's really lovely to see you as well. Home, definitely. Mm. Thank you. Right, all the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chefs, head to the free This Morning app.